Hello everyone, this is AT47 Liberty and today I'm going to give you my outlook for gold uh, into the foreseeable future based on my four interactions I've had um, with uh, these four with four companies. Two of them were rather large and two of them were rather small so it gives a good cross-section I believe of what is going on in the gold industry and how and what outside mainly political pressures are putting on them. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, the first one is Newmont Mining. That's the one I, that first got me, that I first got interaction with. And as of last year, they had planned to uh, drill on my property because all around my property, in about 10 mile direction, they had bought up uh, mining claims in in every direction, 10 miles. So it's a rather large project, and uh, for them to suddenly stop drilling uh, this summer was quite a shock especially since I was next to be drilled on and uh, I could have earned some money that way. Uh, so anyway, um, I know what happened to them. And then I read in the paper or, or through some news releases that they have uh, canned their CEO and they're going to go a different direction. They're going to do less exploration and more acquisition. Okay, that's a fine strategy. But the same reasons that they cite for not exploring uh, will still make it difficult for these smaller companies that they want to acquire from finding the gold in, this, in, this, in, this, in the same way. Um, so anyway, I got further confirmation when I went back out there this fall and um, I just happened to run into two guys who were drilling that summer and they were reclaiming the land and I asked them what was going on. They said, well, Newmont is... Uh, they're not going to be spending as much on exploration, but they told me that they would be back and next summer and they would probably be drilling because they didn't quite clean up all the spots. So they left some of it open so, so they can do some more work. So that's good news for me, but not good news for the gold industry in general. Anyway, what's next? The next one that I've run into is uh, Rio Altan. Rio Altan is a small exploration company with limited funds. They explore in Nevada and Mongolia. And, uh, oh, by the way, Altan means uh, gold in Mongolian. And Alta is the word for Turkish, so for gold. So you can see there, those two are related, Turkish and Mongolian. Anyway, that's a side point. Um, real Altan wants to explore in our land, but uh, they didn't want to explore it or try to acquire it because um, somebody else had a 3% override uh, on the mineral claims. Well, Considering, and they said, well, that's just not enough meat on the bone for them to even uh, do any more further action on, on, on my property. So I went out and acquired the other 3%. So now I have 100%. But if you come think about it, they weren't going to uh, try and even do a gold project because 3% was stopping them. So it shows you that the costs are really high and the profit margins are really tight uh, for there not to be any meat on the bone for them. Okay. Plus, they're having trouble raising funds because the prices are being artificially suppressed. So this is this goes back to my Newmont thing, where well, if Newmont finds it expensive, what about these little companies? You know, to to explore, how are they going to get the funding if the prices stay are this artificially low? So when when they're true that you know it's good for us when we're out here buying it that the price is, is so low, but for the producers it's horrible because they can't get the necessary funding in order to go out and find more gold. So the other one I ran into, uh, actually it's right here, right around the area where I live, is called Altan Resources. Uh, they are a, a going operation there in California and Nevada. And um, they've been promising to open this mine out here uh, for ever since I got here for the last three years. Back in 2010, they said, you know what, in three months we're going to be up and going. Well, it's now 2013, and the biggest obstacle is the government. As long as the EPA and Obama is, is in the uh, White House, as long as you have government interfering with uh, people's private property, um, you will not get, you know, it will take longer and longer and longer until they just, fr frankly, won't give you the license. Uh, to mine, and, uh, and my feeling is licensing is 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 uh, somebody giving you a privilege. Well, if you own property, why do you need a license from somebody to uh, do a project? That means you're you're asking permission for something 
that you're free to do anyway. So, yeah, it's just one more big thing, right? Just one more thing to irritate everybody, to try and get money out of people for doing nothing. Um, so Altan Resources is being held up from opening a gold mine uh, due to political politics, simple politics. So a lot of people in the area are broke, and they're on government funding, government subsistence, uh, which causes uh, the government to tax people more and more for doing nothing, right? For having, and then, of course, other people see people getting paid for doing nothing, so why work? So it's a, it's a huge snowballing uh, process. So anyway, now the last one is Barrick. I'm sure we all know who Barrick is. They own the Bullfrog Mine out here. And I ran into them when I was rock hounding. And um, so I asked them, I said, uh, so when are you guys going to open this mine? And they said, uh, we're not. We're going to reclaim it. So they're going to reclaim it. They're going to revert it back to what it was. And this is a big open pit and underground mine. And they've literally cut half a mountain down. Literally cut it. You can see it from the highway. They've cut, cut into half a mountain. So... Um, it's cheaper for them to reclaim this than it is to open it back up due to all the regulations and the taxes and stuff. So, um, here's my outlook for the gold. It sucks. Gold production sucks. It's going to suck in the future. And here's why. If the U.S. is one of the best places to mine, then what does that say about the rest of the world? With the governments around the world increasingly devaluing a country's currency and increasing the spending, these governments will be putting more and more pressures on these miners. You can't tax them. You, you, the governments will continue to spend. That's, that's what they do best. They produce nothing. They will constantly spend. So they will be putting more and more pressure on the people who produce to the point to where the producers will finally say, I've had enough, and they will stop. Is that what we really want? So the next time somebody, uh, 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 these miners are making huge profits, but they're not. Take this for instance. It costs for, you know, you see one of those loaders, one of those trucks, the haul trucks. One tire costs $90,000. Put that in and see how many ounces of gold that is. Okay, so the next time you think these miners are making huge profits, their costs are also huge. It's expensive to go for gold. All right. So, you know my saying? One drink of liberty in the morning. Ban. Trust in God, everyone else pays in silver. <laughs>